I'm a John Deere guy to my core. I come from this. My cousin owned a John Deere dealership in my father's hometown. Everything that I've got in my barn, except for a couple pieces are John Deere green. Boys, my post hole digger is a John Deere. So today we get to install a Ag Diesel Solutions performance module on this 5090E John Deere tractor. Uh, let's talk a little bit about our platform here. The 5090E uh, John Deere and the 5085E John Deere, these are very, very popular tractors. This is a 95 horsepower rated tractor, 75 horsepower at the PTO. A lot of what we're seeing right now in the ag sector is a lot of guys that are buying, you know, 50 acre farms. They're coupling them with these tractors. These tractors are affordable. Uh, this is going to put a little 15 foot bush haul, which is all that you'll ever need. Um, put couple it with a loader and man you can really make a nice piece of property you know do some small time hobby farming but a lot of guys have these tractors as well because they're affordable uh, and it's used as a loader tractor around the farm even though they've got you know 100 125 horsepower tractors to hook to their um, to their hay roller for example um, these tractors are you know used around the farm for just some utility work this module is going to get you 30% better horsepower out of your tractor, and it's actually going to be switchable between stock 15 and 30% more horsepower. And that thereby is going to get you a 10 to 20% gain in fuel economy. So the module is going to pay for itself, then it's going to put money in your pocket, and it's going to make you money. But raising the efficiency of these tractors not only going to save you fuel, but it's going to give you a little bit of peace of mind in the implements that you run. So back to the farmer that maybe has one of these on the farm just for a utility tractor. Me, I, I roll a bunch of hay. Uh, my hay roller is rated for a 75 horsepower tractor. It would work perfectly with this tractor, but I would say in, in heavier hay, and I know this because of the 100 horsepower tractor I pull it with, in heavy hay and in hilly conditions, uh, it can pull that tractor down. I know it would pull this tractor down you know, uh, quite a bit. That's where a module like this would really come in play. So let's just say I had this tractor on my farm and I have a breakdown on my big tractor. My implement is rated for this horsepower. I could couple it to this, but I'd kind of be on the fence about it, you know, especially if I was on hilly ground because safety's uh, paramount in this. And you don't want to pull something all the way down when you're working it. With this module installed, I would be able to couple it or I would be able to hook to that hay roller and run with peace of mind knowing that the tractor now is going to handle it and it's going to perform flawlessly because of the power increase that we're going to get. Now, Ag Diesel Solutions, they make performance modules for a lot of different agricultural and medium duty platforms. And these modules, especially if you've got a fleet, if you're a big farmer and you've got three or four combines or you're in a custom combining operation, you've also got the trucks running in the field, they got the modules for those. Each one of these modules is going to put money back in your pocket and make the machines more efficient. Now, you know, these common rail uh, newer tractors, obviously this is outfitted with all of the, uh, all of the emissions, uh, all the emissions controls. This plays nicely with this as well. Increasing the efficiency on these common rail diesels, you're going to get a better burn out of the tractor overall. You're going to get a better and more efficient. You're just going to get, you're going to get better uh, you're going to get better interaction with the DPF and the EGR because the, tr the tractor is getting more efficient uh, and just having a uh, just having a cleaner cleaner burn on it. So, just excited about it. It's a cool thing about working in the diesel sector. Even though we really center on light duty trucks, a lot of the guys in here are farmers. We come from ag backgrounds, so we enjoy bringing products like this to you and being able to offer products like this to you because this kind of stuff is really near and dear to our heart. So. Let's go ahead and install our module on our 5090E John Deere tractor. We didn't really even talk about one of the coolest features of the of the module. So the Ag Diesel Solutions, this module for your for your John Deere 5090E, this it has Bluetooth connectivity. So you can go to the App Store or you can go to Google Play, download the app, and you can control this with your phone. Normally, well, this module does comes with a three position switch stock. 15% over and 30% over horsepower. You don't even have to install this switch if you don't want to. You can totally use your phone to control this uh, to control this module. And if you don't hook up the switch, it's going to default to the 30% unless you change that um, the 30% over horsepower unless you change that with your phone. So free download on your phone. We'll try to show that the best you can. We'll do a screen recording on this uh, showing uh, connection on it. But yes. Bluetooth connectivity, really getting with the times and technology and coupling that with these tractor modules. 
All right, before we get underneath of the hood of the tractor, we want to talk about the connections that you're going to make while, while we're outside the tractor before we go into our GoPro shots. So let's show you, show you the main harness here. I'll step out from outside the tractor. So on your main harness, you have your connection that is going to be at the Ag Diesel Solutions uh, module. And then, and they do a really, really good job uh, with their harnesses. Their harnesses are top notch. You are going to have your first connection is going to be at the injector harness, which is a pass through uh, going through the uh, going through the valve cover there. So you have a pass through on that. So you have your connection that's going to be at the injector harness. It's going to service all the injectors on the tractor. And then you have a connection at the map. And on these 5090 and 58, 5085 John Deere tractors, the map sensor and the uh, and the injector connection are, are are side by side. So they're really, really super close together. The other end of the harness is you have positive, um, you have positive battery power that will be served to the module itself. And we're gonna pick that up at the alternator. And then you have your drop for where the switch is connected. We're not gonna connect our switch again on this because this has Bluetooth connection. We're gonna use our, uh, we're gonna use our phone to control it. So, and I talked just a little bit about the switch. Switch comes inside the kit. You can mount this in the tractor if you choose. If you don't hook it to the module, it's going to automatically revert to the 30% uh, horsepower setting, but this is three position stock. Uh, it has stock, then 15% on the first click, 30% over horsepower on the second click. That comes inside the kit too, but we won't be installing that. And then the Ag Diesel Solutions uh, module. This is a top grade module. As soon as you see this module, this is, well, this is a well cased uh, on the circuit board, sealed module. This is a heavy duty little unit. Three year warranty on these, American made product as well. So we'll get underneath of the hood now, show you where the injector connection is, where the map connection is. We have got our, this is a loader tractor. We've got the loader locked out, so we're safe to be underneath of the hood. And we're gonna show you uh, doing these connections. Okay, just wanna show you where you're gonna be working in orientation of the tractor. So. All of the connections that you're going to be going for are here on the right hand side of the tractor, the passenger side, if you will. So these connections again are going to be the injector harness connection. And then right beside of that is it's really easy to get to is the map connection right there. So again, let me try to get a better shot of that. Both of them are right side by side um, and, and pretty easy to access. So let's go ahead and get these unhooked and just get ready to install our, uh, our Ag Diesel Solutions harness. Sorry about the shakiness there. One thing I wanna talk about on these uh, on these connections is both of these connections it's a little harder to get to especially if you've got bigger hands and whatnot um, you can look at the ag diesel solutions harness and kind of train yourself as to how the locks work so this is just the ag diesel solutions harness okay i'm just going to put these two together and lock it and then i can unlock it and then unhook it so i kind of get a good base knowledge of how that works and then i can apply that when i go to looking at the connections that are on the tractor so i'm going to put this harness down real quick and first thing i like to do on these 5085 and 5090 tractors there's a connection that goes across the inlet uh the air inlet neck here i just trip that and get that uh, wire out of my way you don't have to do a whole lot there just kind of trip it and get it out of your way and then these connections john deere over sprays everything like crazy with paint uh, it makes it sort of hard so i'll take the connection i'm working on and just kind of wiggle it that breaks the paint loose and that gets you to where you'll have an easier time getting it unhooked so on this connection on the injector harness connection there's a safety clip right here and we saw that on our harness we're going to pull straight back on that i go on either side of the ear and kind of help it back with my pick here and then just pull straight back and that disengages it and then you're going to be touching and you can see i can touch that with my pick right there this is your clip that you will be uh, just simply pushing down and then unhooking the injector harness like so pull straight back and there's your injector harness right there looking at you 
All right, our map connection right here, you can see this is running uh, vertically kind of north-south into the intake manifold here. So your injector connection was here. Your map connection is right here, kind of running north south. The map connection is turned on this 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 tractor. It it ran out to where the connection was turned to our forward side, but it again ha is just like the um, is like the injector connection. It has a lock that uh, covers over the uh, the trip that disconnects. So I just take my pick and get in the middle of it here and kind of feel around for that lock. I like to move the uh, connector back and forth just to break the paint loose. Um, and then you're just gonna wanna slide, get in the middle there and slide the catch up. And that will give you access to the middle of the connector. So then you can just simply pinch it and pull straight up. This one's the rough one. Okay. And it is a short distance to the top of the wiring harness. So you'll just kind of manipulate that wiring harness out of your way and then pull your connector out. And that one's a little bit rough. There is a uh, standard right here that it is attached to if you need to unbolt it and then that'll give you a little bit more slack on the wiring harness if you had to so that's got our map sensor unhooked and then also got our injector uh, harness unhooked so what we'll do is we'll just simply take our harness and we'll make our connections here uh, on the ag solutions uh, side of it so we did our map sensor last so we want to do our map sensor first so take the female side of the harness and you're going to want to plug it back into the stock harness till you hear an audible click and then you push the lock down to make sure that everything is secure. And then you take the male side of the harness, which Ag Diesel Solutions did a really good job. This side is not as tall, so not nearly as difficult of a connection here. So we'll take it back to the sensor We will turn it. I'll get my hands out of your way in just a second, folks. We'll turn it to engage the sensor just like so, and then push down until we hear a click like that. And then we will engage our lock. So that'll have our map connection done. Okay, left us plenty of room for our connection at our injector harness. So now our injector harness end is the uh, is the bigger of the block. So we're gonna go ahead and make our connection here on our female side, push until it clicks, lock the tab down like so. Then our male side goes to the tractor. Make sure that your lock is back and ready to accept the female side on the tractor. Push it till you hear it click like I did. And then we want to uh, run our lock in right here on it. Locks a little bit stiff. No. There it is. Just keep working with the lock. Don't force it. Don't break it. Just push it till it is able to lock underneath of your tab there, and you're good to go. So at this time, you can put your harness back that you. Uh, unhooked from the side there so I'll just trip that and put that wiring harness back so everything is in play here and out of the way the next connection connection that we will make will be 
here at the alternator for our constant power and then we're going to catch the ground right here at the air intake so the next connection i'm going to make here is for my ground and like i said i use the air intake here because this is in close proximity uh, so this is a 13 metric uh, and i'll go ahead and i'm going to get this uh, go ahead and get this nut off of here and what i'll do is clean up a little bit of paint around it so i have good connection of my ground be careful what you're doing here uh, and just make sure that you get the um, you get this off and then we'll go ahead and hook our ground connection up for our um, for our ag diesel solutions mod module Next, we're going to be getting our power connection on the back of the alternator right here. Uh, Deer does a good job with this and, and keeps that shielded, but so we've got our power connection right now. Didn't make mention of this at the beginning of the video. Of course, we were working with electrical, so we've got our battery unhooked. Very important to do uh, around this alternator too because you are going to be walk, working in here the whole time. When I make this connection at the alternator, I turn the ring terminal up. It's not gonna hurt anything. I hope that you all can see that. We'll turn my ring terminal up and that lets this nut on the back of the alternator seat uh, fully without it jamming against your larger wire here so i'm just gonna turn that to where it's not having to ride on the other wires and i'm gonna go ahead and tighten down this stud on the alternator all right i've got all my wires tucked away where i want them here and we're going to run our harness back through and run it on the inside of the engine here. And we're trying to get to the back of the motor on these uh, 5000 series, the PCM is back there. I'm gonna hang the module, excuse me, with the back of the PCM there and hook that up. We're leaving the switch unhooked. Rem remember, we're gonna use the Bluetooth uh, connectivity uh, via the app. Uh, so we're gonna leave that unhooked. If you leave it unhooked, it is going to default to 30%. If you hook the switch up, the switch's position is going to trump anything that you do on the app. So you got to kind of make your decision here. Do you want to hook the switch up or do you want to just run with the app? I'm going to run with the app because I want to check the app out and whatnot. Uh, this tractor does uh, light work, 15% or uh, uh, bush hogging and whatnot. So um, the 30% the, the is going to be just fine. So we're going to tuck the harness right back in here. And the goal is to keep it away from the exhaust pipe as best we can and protect it but we want to get it back there to where we can get access to it and hook our module up at the back so this will have us done on this side of the tractor we'll go ahead and uh, do a final cleanup of these wires and then we'll meet you around on the other side and show you hooking up the uh, module itself we're going to go ahead and hook our module up now and we ran our harness back here to the pcm side i know you can't see that but promise the connections back there when you hook your module up you want to hook the module with the connection down so we'll we'll run the module box back in here and hook it up but we want to keep the connection facing down so we don't have any water intrusion in there once we make that connection we're going to zip tie this up and we're going to fire it up make sure we don't have any check engine lights or anything like that so to hook up on the module uh, i'll do a screen record here on my phone real quick can't do that I just gave my code. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do a, a screen recording here of using the uh, connectivity, the Bluetooth connectivity. And so Ag Diesel Solutions connection, you can see that it shows 30% here. We can change it to 15 real easily, or we can go back to stock real easy. And then this shows us the RPM that we're at, the module we're connected to, the injection duration, and your power gain in a percentage. So uh, really nice. So that, uh, you know, one of the things when we were driving in here with this was uh, the tractor's absolute dog going up a hill with the uh, bush hog on the back. So this is gonna be the big telltale. Adam and I are gonna move this tractor back home and then we'll cut in and we'll tell you what we think after we take it down the road. Another product that works. This was awesome. I mean, really, the module does exactly what it says it was gonna do. 
30% increase in horsepower. I'm sure that we're going to getting a, a, a nice uh, bump in fuel economy. Ag Diesel Solutions tells you 10 to 20%. This tractor was an absolute dog. So the run that Adam and I made was bringing the tractor back out here to the farm, pulling a 15 foot bush hog, not a ton of weight, um, but this tractor going up a, a slight grade, you know, I, I don't know what the angle of it was, two to 3% grade. Uh, it would pull, pull down pretty good. I mean, it would, it would lug down pretty good before, in road gear before it, it, it reached the top of the hill. And with the module on there, it gets through it uh, it gets it makes it to the top of the hill. It doesn't get in that big of a lug. It pulls down a little bit, but it just keeps making good usable power. And it and honestly, if you watch it on the Ag Diesel Solutions Connection app, it shows you where the duration increase is coming in and where they're removing it. So it's not 30% all the time. It's only when the tractor is calling for it. And the and the app really really does a good job of showing that. The just <coughs> excuse me big change in the tractor a lot more usable power uh tractor to be safer and i think i explained it really well if you are on the fence if you've got one of these smaller tractors like this again they have them for lots of different platforms but if you got one of these smaller tractors like this and you're kind of on the fence if you got a breakdown i don't know if i want to hook that to my hay roller or, to, or my hay mower or whatnot if it's in the capability of the tractor and it fits the threshold of the implement don't worry about it now because this is going to make all the power it said it was going to make right out of the factory. It's going to make all the PTO power it said it was going to make, and you're going to be tickled to death with it. Put money back in your pocket. Love the connectivity with the Bluetooth connectivity. Module installation was super easy, and I'm going to quit geeking out about this because you were done hearing me talk about it. So, Ag Diesel Solutions have modules, medium duty, ag products. They're in the light duty side and the PSI Power name brand. They do a really, really good job. So check them out. If you've got any questions about this installation or any of our other videos, just give us a call and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.